Alright, first. First things first. We're gonna see the introduction video before getting started officially with the game. Hello and welcome to Super Seducer 2. We're back bigger and better. I listened to your feedback and we've made a number of improvements. The first thing is ethnic diversity. We've got Asian characters, black characters, Arab characters and even a Scottish guy. I also listened to female players' feedback and now you can actually play levels from a chick's perspective. Woo! Finally, I'm joined by Charlotte. Hi everyone and I'm here to try and give a little bit of a female perspective on things. Hope you all enjoy the game. Press start and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, the volume levels for the voices and for the music is so fucking different. Hopefully I'm not gonna be screaming into the microphone to, you know, gather some thoughts. Anyway. That's the magnificent introduction video. So let's get this shit started, finally. Chapter 1. Posh Potty. Versus supermodel. Not in the intro video, but in the rest of the game, yes, there will be subtitles. She just stepped off the yacht, but the supermodel is just too sexy. The choice is yours. Go, a number, sex, or kill your enemies. That's when this game became good already. In the description of the very first chapter, And yeah, it's gonna get over the top from the very beginning. Just watch. Arthur, I'm hungry, man. Let's go to the restaurant. My conquest. Arthur, we fucked up the grass again, dude. Not looking good. I mean, you can clearly tell this guy actually made a lot of money in the first game. To rent a tag, of all things. Okay, it's time for video games, everybody. Even though... Still this fucking game is super loud. All of a sudden, this got loud. Yes. Because the volume levels basically reset on their own. That fucking explains it. Doesn't make any fucking sense. Anyway. So... 
it come, quotes. Yeah. Don't approach her at all, in a come. Gaze into her eyes while becoming her with your finger as if it is a penis. I mean, the choice is very obvious, but I'm still gonna read through the options. Use the genius conversation started from the YouTube guy, most likely one of the haters that actually he got through reviews on YouTube that he's gonna be make fun of. D, go and tell her that she caught your eye and can you join her for a few minutes? English, uh, E, catch her attention non-verbally. Of course, we're gonna go, not for the eating cum part, because there's nothing funny about that. Well, maybe there is, but we will say that later. Of course, we're gonna wingle in the penis uh, through the pants. I mean, not the penis, but the finger. Pretend it is a penis through the zippers. Yep, yeah. totally sexy. Security? Security? Yeah, the sad part is that there is no security. Yeah, you did it. You yeah the time has the come. Very first red option in the game. Congratulations. Dumbass, obviously you don't put your little finger through your trousers and wiggle it around like a dick. Oh man, did you get to see this option, Maritime? And Nikki, welcome by the way. We're gonna see it again. Because it's the first risk option in the game, it's totally worth watching it again. Security? Security? I mean, it works every single time. Yeah, man. Yeah. And then he called me a dumbass. Come on, I want to have some fun by choosing these options. We're already are incoming, yeah. Don't approach her at all. Eat a cum. Quad, by the way. <laughs> Use the genius conversation started from the YouTube guy. Probably a joke that I'm not gonna be able to understand because I don't watch reviews and no, I don't know who the haters are. And D and D and E, both of them are probably the right options to go for. So yeah, let's not approach her at all. Wind blowing, paper rustling, man sawing. Goal, 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 goal! One possible ending. Um, yeah. I mean, it just might not be your day to approach someone, and if you want to turn around and try again tomorrow, then so be it. Yeah, I mean, she won't be there, but maybe someone else, or, or maybe just stay single forever. Never yeah. approach. Well, what's meant to be is meant to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're trying to be funny here. Forever alone! <laughs> okay, that's one possible ending. Um, yeah. I mean, it just might not be your day to approach someone, and if you want to turn around and try I, to And I can't around, even go to the next level if I want. I mean, she won't One there. person explored. Or, or maybe just stay single forever. Yeah. Never approach. Well, what's meant to be is meant to be. Mm -hmm. Of course they want to restart it. Okay, let, let's see the over-the-top intro again, by the way. Thank you for the bits, with. And actually, this is the kind of a new layout, so... I need to change some things. To top, there you go. That's better. Location for things. There you go. Yeah, we're gonna say this all over again. Let's go to the restaurant. It's my 
Also, we fucked up the grass again, dude. Not looking good. Wait, what's unhealthy about this game? You're wrong. This game improves your mental health by decreasing your mental sanity. Yeah, all the dudes are spilling the coffee, the juice. All these dudes are so turned on by Richard Laruina. They're they're spilling all the liquids. Even this girl pretended to be drinking champagne. It's probably just water. My juices! I mean my juice! So apparently in this game you gotta make your choices a lot more carefully if you want to progress through the game. As you can tell, there are some choices that basically end abruptly the fucking chapter and you have to start all over. He's getting her up. I mean, everybody else did also. Because that, that's why basically they spilled the fucking liquids. Alright. And look. Even the choices change positions so you don't spam basically by choosing the same things again and again. So everything's been thought out. In a manner of speaking. So, use the genius conversation started from the YouTube guy. That doesn't seem interesting because most likely we won't understand what the starting line is. So, we already saw the penis thing. Oh, please do. Please do. Please do. Exactly. He, I, I actually I'm streaming this for, for him more than anybody else. I mean, yeah. Catch her attention non-verbally. Look at that walk. I'm already turned on. That is supposed to be a right choice. It's kind of rude anyway. Saw you. You caught my eye, so... Uh, you said not verbally! How are you doing? Hi. You're speaking. I'm, I'm fine. That's good to hear. Just coming for a spot of lunch. Ah, oh, lovely. Mm. But it worked. This is a nice way to start because if you catch her attention before you actually walk up, uh, she has a chance to kind of get used to the fact that you're going to be talking to her. And if you kind of just walk up and she hasn't noticed you, it's a bit of a surprise when you suddenly start talking. So, guy! My buddy, how's it going? So, I'm Richard. Hi, I'm Lottie. Ah, oh, Lottie, like Charlotte, yeah? Yes, it is. Ah, oh, lovely yeah. to meet you. Good to meet you too. Hello, I already told her. <laughs> okay, I already saw option C. Do I think the main guy is hot? Um, what do you think? <clears throat> anyway, um, order a tea, cake, some her for her. B. Say, hey babe, the usual please. C. I'll have a piece of cake. The lady will be eating my dick. D. Tell her not to bother you. You are an important conversation. E. Order tea, cake, shot for confidence, something for her. F. You know what? Everything on this menu sucks. Let's go back to my place. Of course, we're going for letter C first. Yeah, I'll have a slice of um, the cherry cake. And for the lady, uh, she's going to be eating my dick. Are you for real? You, you absolute pervert. You don't like dicks. I like dicks, but I definitely don't like yeah, your dick. I knew dick. you liked it. I How really do you know? Don't. Can you, you just haven't get seen off? it? No, I really don't want to see your dick, ever. Not you now, are disgusting. But somewhere. Look at your smirk. You're actually just like a slimy pervert. Can you get off my table? Yeah, yeah. Just go. Why are you screaming? Shoot. There's Shoot. There's... Get away, pervert. There's people know go on. Chill. Go on. Off. Off. <laughs> I'm not a smurf. <laughs> what? This is just horrendous. Is it? An unusual order. Also wrong, yeah? Uh, yes. Very wrong. Also dog. So, yeah. How can she say that actually she doesn't like his dick if he, she hasn't seen it yet? Uh, at least this one isn't in Russia. 
Dude, this is just the first chapter, and from what I've heard, this game is actually a lot more over the top than the first one is. So you gotta just get ready for the worst. Um, I should say the best, right? So, uh, yeah, let's be uh, um, a complete asshole here. One second, give me, give me a look, see that? Yeah. Okay. Went along. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? This menu's fucking shit, man. Let's go back to my house. Did you even read it? Got nice food. Oh. Yeah. Richard. Yeah. I've got an even better idea. I doubt it, but what? Well, you can doubt all you want, because that's the kind of thing you do, isn't it? Well, yeah. Doubt. Put people down. Mm -hmm. How about you I go, go back to my go house, you with twat? Me. Whoa! Uh, How insulting. A little early for the invitation to the house. Yeah, and a little bit rude as well. Pretty rude. Yeah, have the cake first. So... Shot for confidence. It doesn't seem to be like the appealing choice in a movie like this. I usually go for jokes and then go for the right answer, quote unquote. Say, ba hey babe, the usual, please. Hmm. Oh shit, oh shit, so many choices. I don't think it's uh, supposed to be the mom. It's someone who will assist and give a female perspective on the situations. Welcome back, Maritime. I hope you brought enough unhealthy food because according to you, this is an unhealthy game. I disagree. All right. So do you already know what you would like? I'm going to be naughty today. I'm uh -huh. going to go for the chocolate Naughty, tea huh? Cake. Very nice. And a lovely cup of tea, please. Okay, and I'm going to have the cherry cake, please, and English breakfast tea, but no milk. Okay. Thank you. Wait, English breakfast at lunch? They clearly talked about it at first. What is the latest or earliest time that I can have champagne? Oh. I don't know, that's a question. But if a guy came to sit with you, you wouldn't ask him to buy you champagne? No, but if he offered me a glass of champagne at 5.30 in the evening, that's well, quite romantic. Or yeah. just a straight espresso. How am I supposed to know even the time for this shit to take place? Sorry. Yeah, in Canada with the maritime hatred. Hello, Canada! Ignore him, switch phone to silent. Okay, call Mac Mouth Mahmoud, some Arabian name. I know you're gay fears. Hello. My princess. So let's call the guy. Let's be a complete rude asshole. Calling Arabian terrorists. Actually, I hate to do this, but I've got something really urgent. So it's lovely to meet you and all that, but I've gotta go. Right. Um Bye. God, how rude. Uh, waitress? Yeah, she did say it was lunch. Hey buddy, what's the urgent? A real stream, thank you, Magnum. My friend, and now is your chance. Ooh, who's there exactly? The vice journalists? Great. Betty Jack? Awesome, perfect. Boogie? Ah, he's quite likable. Tim Sterling? Fucking prick. Alpha Rad. Friend without benefits. I like those guys too. There is also the mini mint. Nah, he didn't answer my email, so whatever. Anyone else? Bro, Jared? Let's fucking do this. Lisa, bring me my special briefcase. Okay. Where is this going? Hey, Igor sister. Oh, fucker. <laughs> Die, you fuckers. <laughs> what? Dude, there was budget this time? Game over, you won! Woo -hoo -hoo, yeah! And I ended the chapter by killing everybody in the restaurant. Amazing!
So basically, the, the call from your terrorist friend is more important than dating uh, a girl. Yeah, we're gonna start it again. Yeah, I destroyed the world. Okay, so. Yeah, let's keep bl this bullshit again. Blah, 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 So, is there any good alternative for ordering tea cake? Something for her that is going to get questioned anyway? Because supposedly I order breakfast at, at lunchtime that is supposedly 5.30 p.m. It doesn't make any fucking sense, any of these things. Anyway. Uh, yeah, it's been running because, yeah, I decided not to have a life anymore. So, yeah, let, let's uh, choose the same things. <clears throat> what is the latest or earliest time that I can have sh Yeah, let's ignore him. Switch phone to silent. Sorry about that. Just someone messaging me. Let me put that on silent. I never do that. I never have my phone on when I'm talking to someone. No, oh, it's understandable. You know what, it's such a lovely day, and you're dressed amazingly, it's all summery, but it's got something to it, like a real interesting style you have. Thank Very you. Very nice. It's really nice of you to say. Well, it's true. So, what do you do? I'd like to know more about Richard. Hey, distractor and do the ring finger DHV routine instead. What? B, I work for a pharmaceutical company and make YouTube videos. What a loser. See, I work wonders in bed. Okay, of course, that's our go-to option. D, marketing manager, and I make YouTube videos, but I really love poetry. Who does even love poetry? E, make a joke and then tell the truth. I'm a mambo rapper. F, I'm enough to give you $500 right now if you'll come home with me. Uh, yeah, let's go for F first instead. But what I do is not that important. Main thing for you to know, my dear, mm -hmm. is that I make enough to... Yeah, I can definitely offer you like five hundo. Come back with me quickly, you know, get it on. What do you say? Dollars, not pounds or Have you euros. just asked? Asked? Have you just given... Given? Have you... Have yeah. you just offered me money? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, do you understand? Genius, money, yeah. Sex. I have a boat! Right, so you need to clean it, buy new sales or something? I don't clean it! Well, not you, but pay someone, that was the point. Now you have money from me, you can pay... I don't need money for anything. I thought you were here, a civilised young gentleman... Yeah? ...coming to take me out on a date. Yeah, take your date to my bedroom. <laughs> You're an asshole. Oh. You're a complete... Do you know it's what? It's been said. What, darling? Do you know what? I can give you something. Oh, ah, yeah? Yes. Give it to me, babe. I can, look. Look at these sunglasses. Uh -huh. I'm looking. 500 pounds. Okay. In your face. Pretty cool. Look at this lovely. What's that even in the face? I don't need money. Take it. I'm going to my boat. All right. How much do these get on eBay, you think? Yeah, the problem with this choice is that he only is offered 500. Casual prostitution acceptable. Uh, an indecent proposal when it was a million dollars. That's a movie. Ah. Uh. Well, that's why you didn't offer a million dollars, otherwise probably would have worked. But not with a rich girl, apparently. So, funny jokes. Let's make funny jokes. Or let's say, I work wonders in bed. It's funny that you ask, babe. I'll tell you. I work wonders. In the meantime, Chad is talking about shitty Canada provinces. Do you get it? Do you know who you're talking to? Do you know who I am? Lottie. I am Lottie Wentworth Miller. Okay, you don't Thank say you. things like that about me. To me. It's not about you, it's about me, it babe. It's despicable. I've got skills in the bedroom. I think, oh my goodness, don't even talk about bed talk. You don't like beds? We're sitting at a table. Yeah, Look we'd be lying we in a bed. Soon we're going to be lying in a bed. We're today. absolutely <laughs> never going to lie in a bed. You'll be lying yeah. in that bed alone and it'll be cold, the way oh, your attitude why? is. Yes, do you like grapes? Uh, kind of. You're going to get one in oh. your face. Just leave the doing? Food fighting. Just like get out. Yeah, you, you're the child. You're making it. You're bringing it out to me, aren't you? Disgusting. Just go. Like, so this woman is just a bitch about everything. Some guy, I would say that she's bad at acting. Pervert. 
of over exaggerating the reactions basically that's what it is legendary line charlotte no terrible line um what if you say you work hard is my dick's hard or something like any, yeah. anything along those lines no i'm gonna say a blank never there so Chile is the worst Canadian province. I couldn't agree more. So, yeah, she needs a dick somehow. But yeah, bad acting is uh, also very present in this chapter. I can't wait to see the rest of the game, dude. Seriously. So make a joke, tell the truth. I'm a mumble rapper. Hey, that well, sounded as you cool. Can probably tell. Um, I'm a mumble rapper. Uh? A mumble rapper? You know what that is? What's a mumble rapper? You don't like rap music or you don't um, really... I don't really know rap music, but... I give you a yeah. little something. Let's, let's bitches are trying to swallow this. I feel like I'm fighting an octopus. Thought it was killers, camped out in my bushes, but came to find out it's photographers. <laughs> Flash. Like that. Oh! That's I'm horny. Cool, yeah? mm. but actually, that actually, rapping uh, though. I'm, I've got a pharmaceuticals company and I also make YouTube videos. That's, that's kind of the two oh, wow. things I've got going on. Wow! Do you do your YouTube videos as the pharmaceutical company? No, nah, that... completely unrelated. I try right. to have different things going on and then... And you know, what are your YouTube videos about? Well, I will tell you. Obviously, I have amazing rap skills, so I can... I agree. You know, do this, but yeah, if you, if you want to... I mean, you're always going to be asked your profession, so you should be able to answer it in an interesting way. If you can make a laugh or if you can be passionate about it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but you should be ready for this question because you're always going to be asked it, so don't let it be boring. No, you can't be boring. You've got to be passionate about it, or as you say, make a joke of, out of what you do, but do something interesting. <laughs> Who's your favorite mumble rapper? Oh, I have so many. You know, I just can't quite place a name at the moment, but come back to me. Okay. <laughs> and what do you do for work? Oh, well, um, I don't really need to work, but I Obviously. do a spot of acting. Ah, lovely. You know, yeah. something interesting I've noticed, I've met some actors, and they're always very interesting people because they're... Hey, Nicolas Infante. And that's... Absolutely. I think it's because when they're acting, they have to portray all these emotions, so uh -huh. they just understand people and emotions, they can read they body do. language. And... Yeah, and that's what I love. I just love studying people and their nature. Mm. Um, and it's a really good way to connect with people on a really deep level that not necessarily you can do in reality. <laughs> yeah, and actors, they think they're kind of extroverts that wouldn't connect with people, but because of this, you can really You can get feel it, and yeah. you can get the vibe. It's amazing. Excellent. It's yeah. a very cool job, actually. Yeah, it is. It's, it's nice to dip in and This out. is the boring part of the conversation, by the way. Hey, do you recognize her in the car? Yes, I do. I think... Who is I she? think it's that famous Russian model. What's her name? I don't know, but God, yeah. she's beautiful. Igor's sister. Yeah, not bad. Wow. Oh shit! Igor's sister wants us to come to the car. <sighs> Approach girl in car and leave this girl basically alone, and continue talking to girl in cafe. You know the right choice here, right? Look at those faces. <laughs> Well, I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to get her autograph quickly. Oh, I'll, okay. I'll be back probably. Hang on. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Starstruck. You can't go wrong, exactly. It's Igor's sister. Wait, what? He actually got her. Hey, Nip. Ask for a lift. Lift. Lift! To some far off place. Start humping the car. Yeah, of course, that's the option we're gonna go for. Pretend to be a cop. Tell her she's cute and fuckable, and her car is pretty big, so they should go back in the car. E, be direct and say that she looks amazing, that's a boring choice basically, that you didn't want to lose the chance to meet her. 
F, tell her your auntie is in hospital and you need to get her a sup. Yep, lift. Let's start humping the car. That's a sexy approach. It always like is. Thank you. It's Mercedes. Yeah. Yes. Red one. Obviously. Good job. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Gold. So mature. Is it? This is how you met Canada. Wait, who, who was humping into the car? Canada was or you were? Oh, he was humping a Toyota. <laughs> Pretend to be a cop. Is this your car? Yeah. You got license, registration? Part of the joke, Mari time. I'm an undercover cop, oh, yeah. actually. Um, we've been hearing reports about a girl in a red Mercedes who's mm -hmm. transporting drugs across mm -hmm. the border. She's hiding them in her pussy. So I'm going to need to check you. What? So if you'd like <laughs> to get out of the car, do you want me to this. show you something? Yeah, I do, actually. Yeah, I have something for you. What you got? See that? Uh, you're also an under Owned! Person. Yep. So now what you need to do? Um, Take your pussy for drugs. Rehearsing. So now I will just go. And, yeah. uh, Immediately. See you in the precinct, yeah? <laughs> I'm a cop, you idiot. Good jokes. So yeah, I'm dead. Drug put the pussy drugs went away right away. So, uh, she looks fuckable. That that's a nice compliment. Listen, um, it's a nice car. Thank Super you. Super nice. It's I know. I thank you. Uh, it's all three fifty, yeah. Yes, you're right. You know what? You're beautiful. Your car's amazing. Let's fuck in the car. Oh my god, you want to yeah, have yeah. sex in yeah, the car? Let's get, let's get then it get, then get, get in, 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 get phrases are awful let's make love inside the vehicle how about that sounds better I'm asking for too much so um yeah let's go for the boring one listen i saw you in that place mm -hmm. and i just think you look amazing i had to come and talk to you thank you i didn't know i'd need to run five kilometers but Anyway, didn't want to miss the opportunity. Is it really worth running five kilometers for meeting a supermodel from Russia? Yes, it is worth it. Cool, that's the right option. Obviously, if you go to any great difficulty to talk to a woman, it's then strange to be really indirect. So, you know, if you had to cross the road or run through a crowd or run for, I don't know, 20 miles to speak to her. You've got to make it worth it when you get there. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm not surprised, Nicola. There are people who get married to anime characters. My name is Marina. Nice I'm not surprised at all. Nice Eager sister. Fine, yeah. I'm tired, but um. Why? <laughs> what do you think? I've run five miles or kilometers or something. Really? Yeah. yeah. Good it's start. not quite the same, but whatever. Yeah, but that's nice. It's a nice place here for running. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Awkward silences. Validate her that she's open and friendly. Of course, that's the right answer. Validation. Women always look for validation from the man. B. Ask for her phone number. That's kind of direct. My work, my nuts. C. Tell her about how she needs to work rather than drive. D. Say that you recognize her from somewhere in a jokey way. Um. No penis joke here. Kind of disappointed, to be honest. You know what? I've been chasing you for ages, but um, validate more like. You look really open and friendly, so 
Thank you. I think it might be all right. Is it right? You're a friendly person? Yeah, I believe so. Mm. Thank you. This is cool because by saying that she's open and friendly, then in the minutes following this, she's likely to be more open and friendly because she's already agreed that she is. And you're also complimenting her on her character and not necessarily how she looks, and this is always a very good option. Marina, I've got an we got fun replay value to this because we're going to go back to this chapter for uh, if we're going to keep talking to the other girl. Very tough even though there is, you can't you know, go wrong with Igor's sister. For people to get to know you. But again, for the sake of completion. But the, with people that you're close to, you're good friends, family, you're actually very warm and open and kind. How do you know that? You've been talking to her for two minutes. Hmm. I can just feel it. <laughs> you want to feel it? Uh, I've heard you really love sucking dick. Yes, you, you're heard right things about me, some guy. I don't know, I, I've heard you are a woman nicer of some kind, some guy. Is that right? Can destroyer of sorts? That's what I've heard. Yeah, he's been like very unauthentic, but hey, a lot of men actually use this as a trick and it works. Because he's got the looks, well, apparently. A, ask her if she's good a good girl or a bad girl. B, ask her if she's spontaneous or boring. That, that, what kind of question is that anyway? C, ask her if she likes dogs or cats. D, ask her if she likes in her pussy or ass. E, ask what's more numerous, the men she slept with or the book she's read. <clears throat> okay, we already got the next two choices we're gonna make. I've got a great question. Wonderful great. Question. Or I can destroy it, okay, I've heard do you, wrong do then. You, do you prefer it in the pussy or in the ass? <laughs> oh, you're yeah, disgusting. Yeah. You, you like are. it? You ready, babe? What? Yeah, Where are you doing? Here I come. I'm gonna drive. You gonna drive? Yes. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Then I'm Let's driving. Let's go. Yeah. Live fast, die young, bad girls do it well. Live fast, die young, bad girls do it well. Okay. Normal question, surely, no? No, not alright. No? Never, in fact. For fuck's sake. So guys in chat, do you like it in the pussy or in the ass? Really harmless question, by the way. Let's go for E. I got a great question. Ask me. You ready? Uh, okay, what is more numerous, the books you've read or the guys you've banged? <laughs> books. But books? I've read around a thousand. A thousand books? Yes, God, obviously more than you read. Yeah, I would never read books. Audio Me neither. Okay. I agree with you, Richard, in that one. Tony Robbins, Richard Bandler, Harry Potter. I'd rather play video games than reading it's books. obviously wrong, but maybe not super bad, kind of funny, no? Mm. I see you doing the nails with a guy. It's one for a reason? Yeah, and I've got a question for you, by the way, Charlotte. Okay. Do you read a lot of books? Yes. <laughs> I thought you were supposed oh. to ask the other one. Is that the end of your question? Yeah. <laughs> well, she wanted the other question then. All right. Dude, all of these are super boring. Bringing pets is... Eh, nope. Good girl or bad girl? Spontaneous or boring? Anyway, they're, the three of them are pretty question, boring. Uh -huh. right? So I could intuit something, but now I've got to ask. Are you boring or spontaneous? I'm spontaneous. Do yeah. you believe there are people who will say, I'm boring, yes. <laughs> no, but you were very, like, immediate that you're spontaneous. What's something very spontaneous that you've done? Well, actually, I stopped here in the middle of the road. Talk to, to me. To, to a guy running after my car. <laughs> that was spontaneous. I guess it was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best possible option. Is it? And, you know, in this situation, it is a very spontaneous situation. You know, you've run off with the car, talking to her, and you want to suggest uh, going somewhere right there and then. So her being spontaneous would be good. And most people would agree that they're spontaneous 
rather than being boring? I don't think anyone would admit, ad admit to being boring. Are you spontaneous or boring? Um, I can be spontaneous, I think would be my answer to that one. Excellent. Hey, some guy, are you spontaneous or boring? Um, we all know the answer, by the way. I just finished my training. Um, do you always... So you're a supermodel, so you need to look like this in the gym, or you did it afterwards? You mean my makeup? Yeah, all the makeup, the sexy What's dress. <laughs> the makeup's great, but I just think if you're working out and you've got... I was born like this. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. I just have some other plans after my training. Ah, so you're going somewhere super glamorous now. Super glamorous. Yeah. I'm going to have my cold press juice now. Hey, say something about cold pressed pussy juice. <laughs> B, can I come with you? C, I've got 20 minutes. I'll pay for the juice, you pay for the gasoline. D, which juice bar? I'll take a newer. Uh oh, if it's gonna be bad, I'll meet you there. E, maybe. Let's just sit in the car because girl drivers. Pussy juice, of course. <laughs> cold you can't go juice, wrong. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I like? What? I like cold pressed pussy juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're so You like awful. it? Can I, no. Are you juicy now? You're getting juicy <laughs> anyway. Feeling juicy, nice and wet and juicy and. <laughs> Best question ever. Are you juicy now? <laughs> Do you like kind of juice? No, don't even try it Do on like me. Juices? I've heard it. It doesn't work. It's disgusting. But do you like juice in general? Does it matter? We want to know. Yes. I like fresh apple juice. Ah, okay. Do you like juice? Yeah, yeah. Good. Pineapple, pear, good mix. Okay, those are awkward as fuck. So, can I come with you? Let's see. Okay, you guys in chat can suggest if you want. You, we already went through the funny jokes. All right. Let's oh, come friends. together. I mean, mm, yeah. Yummy. So nice, mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah, um, it is. Can I come with you, please? Um. Uh, well. Okay. Yay! Yay! Yeah, so in general, if, if you're in the end, it was going to work. Interaction with a woman, you could find that you're saying, Can I talk to you? Uh, can I call you Charlotte? Asking the permission. Can I do like this? Your, can I get you a drink? Yeah. And although it's nice to be polite, okay, uh, this is actually a, a little bit more decisiveness and you know, sensible so response. An offer, like, why don't I? Or phrasing it differently, yeah, still definitely. giving her the chance to say no, but still not like asking permission. Asking permission seems like you're a child at school. It reduces your, I don't know, status or something. I don't, I'm not interested. It's a little boyish. All right, shall we go? Okay, get in. Don't mind if I do. Mm. Oh, this is nice. Thank you. Cool. So, which juice bar were you going to? Um, I was going to the new one in the center. You know what? I don't remember the name. Mm. I'm not sure, but you know what? There's a place. Um, it's not too far, I think, but it's in a beautiful location. You might even say romantic. It's by the lake. Have you mm -hmm. been to that one? No, I have never been there. Let me find it on Do the Do you know map. the address? Because I don't know how to go there. Mm, no, but if I put it in, juice... Juice bar... Lake juice or something like this. Yeah, there it is. Lake juice. <laughs> See? This okay. one. So you just go there and then there oh, and then there. Really? So not far away? Yeah, it's not far. You want to try it? Okay, let's try this one. <clears throat> After training there is nothing better than a massage. B. Text a female friend to call. D. Did you know that 93% of girls masturbate in the shower? D. Tell her you want to get to know her. Intimately. 
Of course, we are going for the masturbation joke first. You said you just been to the gym. Sorry, it's not a joke. Yeah. Statistics. That made me think of something because gyms have showers and uh, it's a little bit dirty, but do you want to hear it? Okay, not too try. dirty. Try, okay. not too dirty. No. Did you know that 93% of women masturbate in the shower? Mm-mm. I no? didn't know that. And the other 7% sing in the shower. Then do you know what song they sing? Which song? Do you know? No. Ah, so you must be in the 93%. Oh my god. <laughs> nice job, but not it's for too the much. first meeting. A little bit dirty, mm-hmm. but kind of funny. Mm-mm. No? Yeah. Now get off my car. So this one is uh, too sexual. Yeah. Um, do you know this one? Yeah, I've just heard it, yeah. It's, yeah, it's like, did, did you know that 93% of women masturbate in the shower? Did you know? I didn't know. The other 7% sing. Do you know what song they sang? What? You don't know? No. Then you must be in the 93%. Boom. Hilarious. Like no. I don't. <laughs> Hilarious. No. It's literally a conversation killer there. It's just not charming. There you have it. But still got away with it. Somehow. Um. So where is it? I think it was here. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It must have shut down. Now they've they got this Coca-Cola place over there. Maybe. Oh, maybe you, know. you planned this. Say that lots of girls have a, hand- a fantasy of sex in public spaces. B. Tell her no and that you are very honest. C. Apologize for profusely. Of course, A. It's <laughs> getting there about getting a, a becoming a rapist. Place, as you see. Yes. And I know something 100%, right? 100% More statistics. Of girls, 100%. Maybe 200% of girls. 200. Love having sex outdoors in nature, especially if someone might be able to see. So I'm thinking I'll just bend you over this thing here, just be banging you, and then. She, she left already. Granny's watching. Kids, <laughs> Granny's watching. Swans. Watch. So Charlotte, going to need your help on this one. Obviously, it's a bit inappropriate, but mm-hmm. is it factually accurate? It's totally inappropriate. But factually a- accurate? Does it Sex matter? in public places. Sorry, dude. Hey. All right, let's go for this one. Look at look at that smile, though. Not as better as my picture above the chat. Marina, look, I'll tell you something about me. I'm very honest. So if I intended to bring you to a place with no juice bar, and I knew that there was no juice bar there, I would tell you. But honestly, I really thought it was here. Haven't been here for a while, and I guess it shut down. But we could just take a minute and enjoy the beautiful place, yeah? And then maybe go for juice somewhere else. Well, actually, it's a really good place. I'm glad you like it. In this moment, uh, only honesty will work, and I think it would be unattractive to be overly, overly apologetic. Uh, but That's why they didn't choose that one. Is good. I think honesty <clears throat> is always the best policy. You know, I used to come here when I was young, mm-hmm. um, feed the ducks, the swans. And so- now? When you are not young anymore? Ah, uh, no, I'm too busy, so... What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Hmm... Start trying to grope her and tell her she, you knew she was a slut when you saw her. B, let's say, uh, fuck the juice bar and come to my house for juice. C, ask her if she works... Oh, she wants you to go down on her. We got two good choices and the right answer, basically. So... Uh, let's go for C. What are we going to do? I don't know. Hmm. You tell me. Well, I'll tell you what I can do mm-hmm. for you. You ready for this, darling? I'm going to 
Yeah. I'm gonna go down on you. Right here. <laughs> right now. Darling, wait a second. I need to do something. You clean it. It doesn't matter too much. <laughs> you clean? <laughs> you, you. What the fuck's going on, babe? It's a gun. Turn back. It's a gun. It's not wet white. What do you mean, turn? Someone was just talking about guns, right? I'm gonna kill you. What, what, what and doing, don't darling? turn back until I let you. Hello? Can I turn? This is not comfortable, baby. Well, in the Damn end, it. she's got the gun. Are you there? What if I need toilet? Yeah, she was. Totally inappropriate, I would say. Disgusting. All right, <clears throat> and A. What shall we do? <clears throat> what shall we do? Where are you leading? What shall we do? Well, I just knew the moment I saw you that you were a dirty slut. So I know exactly what to do don't with touch you. Me. I'm gonna don't, touch you, babe. Don't touch me. I'm gonna touch you. Here comes the gun again. No! Can't see. Good old pepper spray. Never fails. Where are you? What the? Where are you? What the? Come back, you bitch. <laughs> I mean, I'd be on the phone to the police immediately. Oh, but to the nuts. Marina. Mm -hmm. I've got a radical idea. Radical. Tell yeah. me. So get this. Juice bar's not here. Obviously. So, we could go to the Coca-Cola place, but no, we don't really want that. We could go and try and find another juice bar, but... Mm. Hmm? I tell you what, I've got a juice machine, I've got oranges, pineapples, maybe I've even got some mangoes. So why don't we go to my place and I'll make us some delicious juice. What do you say? So your place? And then he'll have another juice afterwards. Juice. Just the juice. Mm. Well, okay. Excellent. He did it. Nice one. This is the right option. Obviously, it's very bold, uh, but you've already got some indicators of interest. She does want juice. You got the juice. Why not? Look, there's nothing wrong with being bold and confident. That's nothing to, you know, to, to stop. It's an attractive quality. Good luck. You know, one of the things I like most in life is how Pussy you juice. can make small decisions. And it just changes your life in a completely unexpected, but exciting way. Yeah, like today, how we met. Yeah, I don't know where you're leading to, but I need to tell you. Mm -hmm. If I'm coming to a house, I'm just coming to have juice. Juice. Not sex. Not sex. Juice. Tasty juice. Anyway, you should remember that I just come out of my kickboxing class. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Hey, I'm using you for your juice recipes. Nothing more than that. Don't be so pre presumptuous. B, tell her that if she doesn't have sex with you, she won't see her family again and will get them back in pieces. Terrorism. Amazing. C, I'm not that fruity. It's hard to, make, to get me into bed. D, say that you respect whatever decisions she makes. Don't ever say that to a woman. I respect your decision. All right, let's go for the threats. Of course you're gonna come back with me. Because if you don't, you'll never see your family again. You're gonna get them back in little pieces. <laughs> and I'm going to eat their liver and their kidney and roast it and marinate it. And then... Best piece of acting ever. Does he take this seriously? Um, no. Good. <laughs> Alpha's fuck. Yep. All right. 
I respect your decision. <laughs> All right, let, let's uh, pretend we are not that, like, into the sex thing. You, know you got me all wrong. Huh? I just knew that you would have amazing juice recipes. I think you know your stuff when it comes to juice. So I wasn't thinking sex at all. Nothing like that. Nothing, no flirting, no kissing, no holding hands, not even sitting too close. Definitely not sex, just juice. Very, very tasty juice. Okay, do you? Okay. I need to shake? No, 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 no touching. Okay, no touching. I respect yeah, you. Yeah, that's what I, a bit too much. Maybe later, when you know me better. Nice one. Yeah, uh, the thing uh, is that shit actually works. Again, it's quite sometimes. Annoying, it's a little bit tongue-in-cheek, so she does get the idea that there's still this undercurrent of sexual tension yeah she should know this is just a little joke and it's quite funny funny jokes this game is all about the funny Very jokes mm -hmm. i'm super thirsty look that juice is not gonna cold press itself let's get out of here <laughs> okay let's go 